This is the Douglas B-66, a long-range, high-altitude Air Force bomber. And here is the first man ever to fly this plane, Johnny Martin, chief test pilot for Douglas Aircraft. Johnny recently added another first to his list of credits when he became the very first man to drive a 1957 Ford across the country. Naturally, in the months to come, there'll be thousands of new Ford owners making this trip. But how does it feel to be first? Well, let's hear Johnny Martin's own account of a new adventure named Ford. I took off from International Airport outside New York City on September the 12th. My car was a brand new Ford Fairlane 500 Club Victoria, delivered fresh from the factory that morning. Well, by the time I got to the George Washington Bridge leading out of the city, I knew I was in for a lot of fun. This 57 Ford is a real big car, but it handles like a Thunderbird and rides smooth as a jet through a cloudless sky. Once on the new turnpikes, I opened her up partway and started making time. My Ford hummed along so quietly, I wouldn't have known I was driving if it hadn't been for the passing scenery. Outside Pittsburgh, I ran into a rainstorm, but I was just as warm and dry inside the Ford as if I were flying over the weather. Those new wider tires sure keep a tight grip on a wet road, too. Pennsylvania, Ohio, then down across southern Illinois and into Missouri, and I was still having the time of my life. When I'm flying, I sometimes look down and wonder what it would be like driving on roads like this. Well, now I know. In a Ford, it's great. On any road. Funny thing happened here in Oklahoma. I'd been cruising along well within the speed limit when two highway patrolmen stopped me. No, no ticket. They just wanted to take a closer look at this new kind of Ford. I couldn't blame them because it sure is a beauty. And as for performance, well, I told him that after this trip, I could understand why police forces everywhere prefer Fords. Two days later, I was in mountain country, and I really appreciated that Husky V8 engine purring under my foot. I'd have to get back in a jet to beat this Ford's climbing power. And man, how it took those curves. It hugged the road without any pitch or sway, just as if we were on track. Here we are on the last leg of the trip, and even the traffic-jammed Los Angeles freeway couldn't phase me. You need a car with split-second response to travel in this fast-moving crowd. And, as always, my Ford delivered. Well, this is the finish line, the Douglas plant in Santa Monica. You know, I've made a lot of trips across the country, but believe me, this one was the most fun. Across the country or around the block, you too will have more fun in a 57 Ford.